Welcome back to another video. As uh, always, please consider hitting the subscribe and the like button so we can game that YouTube algorithm. Um, had a request. Uh, somebody was interested in hearing about the voice acting and voice over narration uh, training that I've been doing. Um, and it's funny, you know, 30 minutes ago, my girlfriend literally told me, Oh, it's just going to be another one of those things that you do and don't see through and you're not going to make any money off of it. So now we definitely have to go through. I already was planning on it, but we got to make some money from this. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like we have to make it work. So first of all, let me talk a little bit about um, you know, why, why I decided to do this. Um, I think I've mentioned it in previous videos, but Essentially, I'm trying to find other sources of income besides um, the company I work for. And all of us should be doing this. We should all have a side hustle or at least something we know we can monetize and not constantly be slaves to whoever our employer is. Uh, if the economy goes bad, we're screwed. We don't want that. We want to be able to make money in other ways. Um, I was always told I had a good voice, so I'm trying to put that to work. Um, and you know, the last class was good, but let me tell you what I've learned so far. First of all, if this is something you're interested in doing, you want to go just into Google or DuckDuckGo and see voice over training in my area. Let's just see what happens. So I'm seeing lots of like ads for studios and classes that do voiceover training. Some, I mean, this is one of those things where it's gonna be better to be near a city. I mean, maybe the, one of the very few things that like would benefit you from being near a city and that's the fact that there are companies that do voiceover training as well as studios that have equipment for you to use when you're doing your lessons. But um, essentially, I found one near myself in the big city near me that I don't live in. And of course, right now it's uh, it's closed, so everything's being done over Zoom, and it's actually not that bad. Um, basically, I'm taking what is called the introduction bundle. So like the first class was a super high level overview um, of like three different kinds of voice narration that is typically done there's like they categorize it into three different groups and then they teach further courses on on each of the groups depending on what you want to do or you can do them all with the an en en ending goal like the class ends with you producing a demo that they will help you with um, you can actually go and do the demo in their studio and the benefit of having a demo is that's how you basically will find work there's middlemen out there that are, you know, they're called talent agents and they essentially email you, uh, you'll audition for roles and if you get chosen, you'll get paid. Um, so will they, but you'll basically work with talent agents. Um, but yeah, like the three, three different categories, they broke it down into commercial, narration, and oh man, what was the third one? Ugh. It was commercial. Oh, commercial narration and character. So commercial being advertisement mainly, like you know, TV ads, radio ads mostly, um, because voiceover work is not so much in a TV ad; it's in a radio ad or an ad for something you see on the internet. Uh, basically, advertisements for the most part is what's on the commercial aspect, and that's they say that's where the most money is right now. Then there's narration, and there is money to be made in narration. ACZ.com is, am, I think it's, I think it's AZ's, no, it's not ACZ, hold on, what is it? ANZ, what is it, Amazon's voiceover work, I forget what the website is, man. ACX, ACX.com. So this is where you can constantly be doing um, narration for audiobooks on Kindle. Um, and this, 
This stuff takes a long time, but it is steady money. You have to be selected though, and you have to get a demo. So we talked about commercial, we talked about narration. There's tons of narration work to do. And then there's character work, so acting, actual acting. Um, and it's funny because I did, I did a character class last time. It was fun, man. Uh, we got paired up and we had to do, um, it was basically like commercial, but you know, I, I, I did, we did like a commercial script, but I had to act as a character in pain. It was pretty funny, man. Like I won't, I won't read the script. It's proprietary, but like it was funny and uh, everyone was dying laughing. Like I'm actually pretty good at it. And I definitely, I definitely want to start, you know, doing some side stuff. So that's why I'm doing the voice acting. Um, what else? You know, I wanted to make sure I talked about ACX.com. There's a lot of money to be made off this website. Check it out. And I also wanted to talk about a little bit about, you know, since we're talking about voiceover work, yeah, if you guys are following my channel, you know that sometimes I do my, my videos when I'm out on the go with my kid in the Apple AirPods that I own. And those audio monologues don't sound great, do they? I mean, you can hear me, but it sounds like you're talking to me on the phone. Um, I did buy a $40 condenser mic, um, which I'm using now, and it it sounds much better, uh, 40 bucks. But one of the things that this class is going to teach me is how to set up a home studio, and they go over like everything from like the stand to the type of microphone to the pop filter that you should get, um, as well as like covering your room with soundproofing. So I don't, I actually have never recorded a video in my garage yet, but I'm doing it right now on my laptop, and I imagine it's going to sound somewhat echoey. Normally when I use this condenser mic, I'm inside, but I'm in the, in the main room where it's a hardwood floor, and it does sound a little echoey. Um, not good for, for voiceover work. So next week I have three courses all in the evening. The Tuesday one is going to be about setting up a home studio, and I'll definitely relay what I learned to you guys in that one. And then Wednesday and Thursday is going to be more like character and commercial classes, which are eventually going to take me to a professional demo. But that's that's my goal is to get a demo out uh, and start working gigs all on, all on the side of what I do. You know, I have a good career that pays well. Like I'm not a millionaire, but I'm making six figures. It's good. Um, coupled with my girlfriend, she does the same kind of thing. We're, we're doing well. My kids are going to be well off in that regard. But I don't want to be beholden to the whims and the politics and the economy of tech companies forever. Um, like it's almost kind of like taking the ticket. Like I don't, I don't want to take the ticket. It's not the ticket because they're not making me boatloads of money and I'm not – selling out but at the same time like the longer you stay with a tech company as they go further and further into satan's hands it's not good so i'm trying to get out and uh voiceover work's gonna help with that so other thing you know that's why i always talk about investing in other things too um i'm just trying to continue you know constantly figure out other ways to make income which is why i'm risking it with trading options and buying crypto but hey it is what it is um and yeah i mean that's basically what i wanted to talk about um let me just double check that the uh yeah i think i think that's what you wanted to know about voiceover like just check your area like voice acting lessons near me is another google string you can use um Oh, there's a lot of places, man. Like, depending on where you live, there are a lot of places. You just want to find one of these studios and one of these teachers, and in the end, get a demo. I think that's the main thing. You have to have something that you're going to be able to send to an agent, and it'll be a demo. Um, cool. I hope that was informative. Uh, let me know. But thanks, guys. Take care.